And just like that, we are now done collecting the full sets of ham. I can't believe how quick that was. Only took me about maybe 30 minutes. So that's pretty cool. We also leveled up a little bit, if you guys can tell. 20 defense. We went up, like, I think three strength levels. Um, we also got 11 prayer. And we're 39 combat, which is really cool. But I now have the full freaking two sets, and we can now work on doing Death to the Dorkshin. Our cat also grew up, so I'll probably go get a new cat before I start the quest. That way I can have it crawling around. I'm eating a warhead right now, so that's why you keep hearing me, like, sound a little bit different. But yeah, let's go do Death to the Dorkshin. Alright guys, since day one, I said I was going to get the Death to the Dorkshin quest completed because that would be the main moneymaker right off the bat for me. 2k thieving and range XP. Can I use special attacks for the Dorgishin enter the ham storage rooms, which is what's going to make us our bank. And then we can now enter Dorgish Khan, um, and we get one quest point. That's the Dorgishin completed. Do we level up at all? 28 thieving. We can now do chest and Ardian Relica. 15 range. I don't think we have like much range either, so that's pretty cool. We can now go seller in the water mill. Um, you could also go over here and buy some things like the bone crossbow and the bolts but i have no money right now so that's what i'm going to basically go do i'm going to now go take a little break and go steal from the ham storage rooms to make a good chunk of money and i'll show you guys what i get per inventory if that interests you i'll keep that up if not i'll just show you what i get after doing a whole bunch i make my way to the bank there's our first inventory um i need to bring a little bit more food because they do punch you a couple times and it can be a little bit like hurtful I guess I'd say it could hurt quite a bit um, but we did manage to get a diamond off the first one that I actually opened up which is kind of funny um, also got a ruby emerald amulet and then a sa I almost said a sapphire a ruby amulet then everything else sapphire or just gold good thing is most of these things are used for clue scrolls and another good thing is of course they're just gonna sell for absolute bank and we got 320 raw gold which is really nice, but it has a 23k value it says, but that's not really accurate since that's like GE valued if I'm correct, but amazing money guys, amazing money. We have our second inventory, so we ended up getting a diamond amulet, emerald necklace, and an emerald amulet. Everything else is gold and sapphires. We did get a clue which we're going to go do. We also got 861 raw gold. And then we got a Marantil, 21 steel arrows. We have some arrows on us as well. And a steel axe, which isn't too bad, which I'll sell. But there's that second inventory. I'm going to go sell whatever I really don't need. And I'll be right back and show you how much money I actually make. And just like that, there's another clue reward. <gasps> oh my god, what is the odds of that happening? I got a clue scroll, have you guys seen in maybe the last clip? I think it might have been. I need to get a black axe, and you can't get a black axe only from clue scrolls, or you can get it from really high tier mobs, but there it is. Holy shit, that is worth. We just had another great trip, we got ourselves a clue scroll, so we have to just go down to Vanica and Edgeville. We also got a diamond ring, which can be made into a ring of life, a couple ruby emeralds, and then all of course, a lot of sapphire, but we got our coin stack on us so we're at 2.8k now i thought i'd just bring it with me because why the hell not but there we go um reason i always keep like steel picks and stuff they sell for like 200 gold to the, the store that's just around the corner so pretty much worth it. i'm gonna go try oops i'm gonna try and do if i had one hp and i punched that i'd have fucking killed myself i'd have been so depressed but i'm gonna go and do my clue scroll if i can and i'll see you guys with a clue reward right before we finish up our quest we get an Armadil page 3 and 44 fire rings. Not bad, not bad. I'm kind of, I want a cosmetic. Like, I just want to wear something different, but three clues, two pages. Come on, that's pretty freaking good. But now we're going to get on the quest grind. I'm not going to get Dragon Slayer done today. I'm just going to get every other quest. And if I am able to get Dragon Slayer done, I will. But there we go. There is another clue scroll completed. We get the... Armadil page 3, which has a value of 343k, but to me, only 240 GP. 
we are finished with the Black Knight's Fortress. 3 quest points, 2.5k. Really nice quest to do right off the bat if anybody does start an Iron Man account. Because that's incredibly easy. Just make sure you have some food and you have the helmet and the chain body. Other than that, you could do it at like level 3. Free 2.5k. Alright guys, so here is the Demon Slayer quest completed. Sending Delrith back into the void, you know. Right back into that beautiful vortex. Look at that animation. Clutch and clean. So fresh and so clean. Clean. But there we go. Quest completed. Don't really know what you get as a reward. But yeah, I think you get the sword and some quest points. But 40 quest points. There we go. Now we're going to go do Ernest the Chicken. What the hell is the odds of this? Sorry, I'm eating a warhead. But what the heck is the odds of this? Clue Geode Elite. Oh, as you guys know, I definitely can go ahead and do that. So I'll see you guys with the reward. Alright guys, so I went ahead and got enough. So make 1,290 bronze arrows. And we are at 5 fletching. So once I complete making these, I'll show you guys what level we actually got to. Alright, so I went off and did agility while doing fletching. We managed to go from 5 to 17 fletching off of making 1,290 arrows. Not that bad. We're going to use these probably for a really long time until I run out. I don't see a point in really even having them because they're bronze and bronze isn't really useful, but 17 fletching. Yo, what's going on guys? Daniel here. So, I found something kind of interesting, I'd say, that would be really helpful for an Iron Man. If you get 32 cooking, come to the cooking guild. You guys know where that is, it's just to the left of Ferox Big Bank. And trade this guy here. He actually sells red berry pies, so even struggling to do the Night Sword quest, you can just walk in here and buy a red berry pie for 12 GP. He also sells garden pies, which can boost your farming level which will help you out with the fairy tale part one and they're pretty cheap as well so just thought i'd throw in this tiny little video to help out some iron man i'll see you guys later peace we completed the knight sword quest getting 12.7k xp boosting us to 49 quest points 31 smithing you can now do steel axes steel plate legs and iron plate skirts holy shit Alright guys, so if you wonder where I get all my money from, I'm about to sell all this jewelry, so yeah. If you see me in the next clip with a decent amount of cash, that's how I did it. And we finished Vampire Slayer for 3 quest points, almost 5k attack XP, bringing us to 52 quest points, and we're going to go finish Ernest the Chicken next. And there's Ernest the Chicken completed, 56 quest points, 300 coins, and that was 4 quest point. Freaking dog! But there we go, we only have five more quests to go, then we're done all the free-to-play quests. Alright, you beautiful people. So, I went ahead and took all my cash to the guild here and bought me a rune sword. was going to go for a long sword, but it was like 7k or 12k more than a rune sword at 20k. I also bought me a coif and some green dehyde jabs. These are clue-related items later on, plus, you know, 40 defense in range I think it is and then I can wear those which would be really nice um, good mage defense bonuses and then the coif of course everybody hates it but it's used for clue scrolls so I'm definitely going to use that but this is what we're looking like right now we're looking pretty good I, I always like the hood that's why I really like Aram's hoods and then they came up with that new um the new like Zamrock hood or whatever and it looks really cool and I can't wait to actually get the Aram's hood he's got a clue my girlfriend's gonna open it up Good luck to us. <gasps> what? No fucking way. We have okay. We have two. We have two. An armor page two, or three, and now we have armor page one. If I can get two more, I can complete the book. But this, if I'm correct, this protects me from Sarah Doman. So I don't. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that protects me from Sarah Doman if I go to the God Wars dungeon. So Sarah Doman minions won't hit me. So fucking good. And the best thing about it is, it, yeah, it goes on my range slot. It gives me a plus two, per, uh, plus one prayer bonus, which is really good. Helps my prayer drain like slower and stuff. So good shit, babe.
Good fucking shit. We were just about to end off this episode with out doing all the free to play quests and I remembered that I told you guys I was going to do all the free to play quests. Um I don't know if I'll do Dragon Slayer, probably not. But there we go, there's Pirate's Treasure because it's already a ten minute video, so Pirate Treasure, Prince Ali Rescue next, then Restless Ghost and Shield of Varev. Could try to do it quick and easy. We're at fifty eight quest points already. I'll see you guys with the next quest. Peace. There we go guys, we just broke the sixty quest point marker. We're now sixty one quest points, seven hundred coins. 3 quest point reward from Prince Ali Rescue. We're now going to head and do the Restless Ghost and then Shield of Arav. I'm going to have to do that by myself. It's going to suck out the multi-log, but whatever. It's going to be easy. And then we're going to try and attempt to do Dragon Slayer. Um, I really want to get this done as well. So that means I'm going to get on the Slayer grind. I'm also going to get my crafting to 20. So I can go ahead and do the Elemental Workshop quest. Which will boost my crafting and smithing by a good chunk. 30 range should be easy, that's just AFKable basically, just AFK, I don't know where, but just easy as hell. Priest of Peril, easy as hell, rest of ghost, we're about to go do 90 crafting, super easy, and then 35 wood cutting, very easy as well. Alright guys, so there is the Restless Ghost completed. I'm now making a new account and I'm going to use that to help me out with Shield of Arav. But there we go, 1.1k quest, uh, sorry, 1.1k prayer XP and 1 quest points. The Restless Ghost is now completed. That gives us 15 prayer. A cute little white kitten that we're raising. But did we go up a combat level? We did not. But there we go, boys. We are now Shield of Arav and then Dragon Slayer. And that's all that we have left. That is unbelievable so glad i'm going to be able to finish this by the end of today since that was my goal i wanted to get this done and then upload it for you guys so i'll see you guys in just a little bit with the shield of arav completed all right guys there is the shield of arav quest completed one quest point 600 coins 63 quest points and now all we have left is dragon slayer let's freaking go Guys, as I prep for Dragon Slayer, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I actually have to get before I can even complete the quest. So I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We got ourselves to 63 quest points. Technically completed all the free-to-play quests besides Dragon Slayer. I'll show you guys our bank really quickly. Um, starting from the top, we just have all the junk, all those arrows I made, some herbs and stuff that I've been saving up. A whole bunch of random stuff. This is where my skilling is going to be. I'm going to organize it soon. That's the main tab I use. The clue tab, we got ourselves the Armadillo page 1, Armadillo page 3, Ancient page 2, some nature runes, black axe, three cats, plus our one following us. And then we have the food, ham outfit for some reason, and then our gems. Of course, I've been keeping the sapphires. I've been keeping the uncuts because they don't sell for much. Like this will sell for like 300, 500 coins. And then this will sell for like 1, 2k, so you know, huge difference, so I'm just keeping them because I'll cut them down the line anyways. Um, there's our tab right there. I went ahead and sold the gems that I had earlier and got 2k uh, fire strike casts, and then this is what we're looking like, looking pretty good. We also have the honorable blessing on us, ring of life, amulet of accuracy, our hardcore Iron Man gear, of course, the outfit looking good, then we have our rune sword on there as well. Um, it's recommended to have overhead prayers, and I don't have that, so I don't know how I'm going to go ahead and complete Dragon Slayer. I'm going to try it without it. I'm going to go get some runes, hopefully a couple law runes to be able to actually teleport away, just in case I do almost die. I'd love to not use my Ring of Life. That'd be great, but I'll see you guys in one bit. That was a lie. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Take care. Talk to you later. Peace.